So I'm going to talk about some of the very favorite sunscreen of mine and some of the sunscreen that really let me down. But I do have some of very affordable favorites as well in Indian market. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's go. Hey guys, so the first sunscreen that I want to talk about and I'm already telling you I love this sunscreen is from Dot & Key. It is their Vitamin C uh, plus E Super Bright sunscreen. So this is formula wise everybody is kind of like praising it. It is it has been cult favorite for Indian market from past two, three months. Uh, but like, can you guys see I've used this much? Maybe you can see it in sun, but I have almost finished this one. I loved it. The reason I love this sunscreen is because of its finish. Uh, this is the sunscreen that I have right now underneath my foundation. And the glow that is on my face, that is just because of this sunscreen. Because foundation was like semi-matte uh, and medium coverage. But uh, this is the finish of the sunscreen. And it's very runny consistency it sinks into your skin so fast it takes about maximum 10 seconds for the white cast to vanish um, and it makes it so easy for you to use like three fingers worth of sunscreen because if it's like cream formula it feels so tacky it takes so much time to spread and this one sinks in immediately i take about because it's very runny consistency i take full three finger for my face and then i take extra for my neck i love this one because this is fragrance free and i was looking for fragrance free sunscreen because i had just started using tretinoin and you're supposed to kind of avoid fragrance initially so that's what i'm doing this is 50 gram for uh four nine hundred and fifty four nine five four hundred and ninety five rupees um yeah so per gram you're paying like 10 rupees right so um when you think about it it's it's a bit expensive but comparatively other skincare in the market and skincare that i used to use before this um this seems like a really good deal because i have some pharmacy sunscreen in this video that i still very much love uh but they're a bit expensive um so i loved it so much i ordered two more i actually ordered one more when there was sell and then there was again a sell after 15 days so i ordered another one these are packed sunscreen as you can see it's still packed and this one is also packed with the thing but i put cello tape on top of this just to make it like airtight i'm gonna do with this as well that's what i do when i order in bulk because skincare has tendency to go bad the shelf life and everything so i wouldn't use it after it's uh after it's past its shelf life but just to you know extend the extend it little bit while it's still in my house i would do this so it makes it airtight so there is no light or air is going in this sunscreen it doesn't have like a tape thingy on top of it that you rip off and then you start using it. it's not like that it's quite open so i wanted to you know do that and especially with um, vitamin c product i do that all the time because vitamin c oxidizes so that's what i do every time i order extra product like this i would put tape. so i'm not a dermatologist and i don't understand an ingredient list so my way of selecting sunscreen is just to check on their website if they have lab certifications of it or not and they do have it so that's how i figured okay i would just love it but it's again a chemical sunscreen they have new generation chemical filters so that is good thing new generation filters but it's still chemical sunscreen so if you're looking for a physical sunscreen keep on watching personally i love um, the feeling and the uh, aesthetics of chemical sunscreen on my face more than physical sunscreen next sunscreen i'm going to talk about is a spray sunscreen i have been using this sunscreen uh, as my touch-up sunscreen this is not, definitely not a sunscreen that you would use as a first step like first sunscreen in the morning this is from rio herbs this is spf 50 sun protection board spectrum 100 ml for 500 rupees this is 499 rupees right this is again chemical sunscreen because it's a liquid it's it's like water only can you guys see it doesn't have sulfate or paraben but it does have fragrance in the ingredient list but since i've been using it as my touch-up sunscreen i don't really care if it's my fourth or fifth step on my skin 
which has fragrance like i'm not that crazy about not having fragrance in my skincare unless it's like my moisturizer or my toner or my serum but after that i already have my makeup on and on top of that if i'm applying something with fragrance i don't really worry that much what happens with spray sunscreen is that when you spray it you're still going to get some of the spots that are not covered with the liquid and you have to use your finger to kind of spread it and it's still not going to be enough as much as your skin needs because with even cream sunscreen normal sunscreen you need three fingers worth so this is very difficult to get that kind of coverage with this one because you, how much can you spray your face like it's going to be wet and then it's going to be wet and then it's going to drip the water off of your face so it's not going to give you that kind of coverage as much as a cream sunscreen would so that's why it's good top of sunscreen when you're traveling when you're out on top of your makeup you want to apply something you can go like this right now i have foundation on let me show you how i apply it You can see my makeup is intact it doesn't burn your eye that's the thing the dot and key one also doesn't burn your eye and i'm gonna just spread it it doesn't have any matte or dewy finish or anything it's just water like and this also sinks in in about 15 seconds so it's not like uh, it doesn't take as much time as normal water or toner would it does have something in its formula that makes it vanish quite quickly maybe some sort of alcohol but yeah it uh, it doesn't feel like i messed up my makeup right so it's a good option for that especially in indian market we don't have many options like that and this is uh, a brand that i've been trying out even with the moisturizer it, it's doing really good job so sunscreen i ordered and i'm quite happy with this purchase again i would not suggest you use this or any spray sunscreen as your first sunscreen in the morning this is good for touch up option like uh, stick sunscreen those sunscreen also don't give you full coverage sunscreen option uh, protection same with this so i find this to be very affordable 100 ml for 500 rupees next sunscreen i want to talk about is from pharmacy it is z block uvb spf 50 plus this has a pa rating of three plus is broad spectrum and uva four star and critical wavelength is 370 i don't know what that is let me quickly google that up but uh, yeah this is the sunscreen that my doctor suggested when i first started using tretinoin the critical wavelength is the wavelength at which sunscreen allows 10 percent of the rays to penetrate a sunscreen with a critical wavelength of over 370 nm is considered by fda to provide excellent uva protection oh that's nice so critical wavelength is 370 with this one it says not opaque but yeah it's it's it, it's it doesn't have white cast that's what they're trying to say but i would say it does have a little bit of white cast because uh, these are mixture of physical and chemical sunscreen feeling wise it has velvety feeling a very silicone like feeling if you are a girl and if you use makeup primer that's the feeling you get with this it looks white i have emptied it completely but yeah this is how it looks and uh it feels quite uh, primer like very velvety and can you see this white thing it's going to stay it's not going to sink in so little bit of white cast is there but if you apply a foundation or anything on top of this it works amazingly as a primer so uh, doesn't matter if you apply like three spoon of it it doesn't feel heavy or it doesn't make anything else not stick to your face because if you apply foundation on top of this works great as a primer even if you don't want to apply foundation on top of this you need to make sure that there is a little bit of white cast so <laughs> just be sure that there's going to be a little bit of white cast which this is amazing options clinically i mean formula wise if you're looking for a best sun protection then i think this is amazing product it has 25 percent zinc uh, oxide which is great physical sunscreen filter zinc oxide in it is the only ingredient that is you know classified by us fda that provides broad spectrum coverage across the entire uva and uvb range finish wise it does give you like matte finish so if you have oily skin this is a really good option for you guys girls or boys this is prescribed to both uh, uh this is a unisex product uh, if you don't like like dewy glowy sunscreens that are in the market right now that everybody is like 
raving about you can go with something classic like this the only issue i feel with this is it's a bit expensive for me uh right now i'm using different sunscreen but this one is just <laughs> if i would get sent a pr of this i would not pick any other sunscreen that's how i feel about this one but it's a bit expensive also it doesn't burn around my eyes so <clears throat> really good option i have talked about this sunscreen separately in detail with the ingredient and how to buy it in the best price everything in a separate detailed review video like a year or two years ago so you can tell how much i love this sunscreen uh the only issue is uh, it's a bit expensive but yeah finish wise is matte so other sunscreen that i showed you were a bit chloe this one is matte next sunscreen i want to talk about is this from pill cream let me just i have used up one serum bottle already and um, i had actually bought three sunscreen because i had received really good reviews about this sunscreen uh, but as you can see still pack right still pack I use the let me just open one for you because I don't know how I'm going to finish this up anyway but I have already used up one serum bottle of this sunscreen it's just not designed for oily skin people it is just not designed for people oily skin people to use in a humid atmosphere especially in summer in India because it is just like it's just it's, I don't know why people lied to me all the influencer were like this is a great sunscreen it's so lightweight okay it's lightweight but it does not feel like serum it, it's a serum sunscreen also it has spf of 30 triple a pa triple a pluses uh it is it has uva uvb blue light protection it is oil free and fragrance free i read all of this and they also had lab certification of this sunscreen so i bought three in cell and i used one bottle because i had to because it's expensive to buy sunscreen in india but i i i already have two more and i'm going to finish it probably by use it on my hand or somewhere else but i don't think my face can handle uh especially because it's summer maybe in winter i could finish it up because shelf life is not much and also the pilgrims price keep on changing because look at this um the product that was manufactured in 6 2022 and 7 22 had different prices just one month difference of manufacturing and they changed their prices so it is price is very fluctuating on their website anyway pilgrim is a is a dicey brand i like some of their products and some of their products are really just like no just like no what what are you doing i do like their um, latest body lotion vitamin c body lotion australian skincare love that one hate this one let me just show you the liquid creamy thick cream like um for, uh, runny formula same like this both have same texture uh, but this one feels a bit uh, heavy on the skin it feels a bit like sticky it doesn't feel like you have nothing on as compared to this baby here this is really just a uh, product for people with dry dry extremely dry sahara dry skin care people they can probably use it without an issue my biggest issue with this was the texture um it does not have white cast so that's a good thing it doesn't have fragrance that's a good thing but again this is spf 30 and i think with this price range you can get spf 50 sunscreen in the market that i'm going to mention in this video with better texture and and formula that's going to suit all skin type this is this is probably good for dry skin people another issue with this sunscreen is that uh you cannot apply it on top of a, like a cream a very thick uh occlusive moisturizer it will just not stick i have tried applying it on top of this my favorite moisturizer bioderma it's very thick uh cream i get it and usually i use it at night time only the creams like this but i had very dry skin at the time and i did use this and on top of this this will just not stick it will just fall off and you could see like um like you know when you when you put liquid on top of a waterproof product what it does that's what it did it, it didn't stick to my skin like on top of if you throw water on top of a leaf 
you know how it just falls off without wetting a leaf that's what happened to my face it did not stay on my face so i was like it's okay this formula is not working out uh then i tried a different uh, moisturizer not this one but i tried different moisturizer that is again very common from minimalist where is it i can't find then i tried on top of this very lightweight moisturizer from minimalist sepi calm it did not work it only sticks on top of gel moisturizer which is like and some people might not even realize it that their sunscreen is not sticking because if you're not looking in the mirror while doing it you might feel like it's, i applied my sunscreen i'm good no you'll still have like a spot where it's not going to protect right so you really have to wait for your skin to get really really dry after applying skincare and then you need to apply it so you really have to wait for like 20 30 minutes after your skincare and then you can apply sun, uh, sunscreen that's how it's going to stick and still we have no idea if it's going to work or not and also my in my experience um because i have finished entire one bottle with this the issue is that i used it um uh, while i was striking so it's it's extremely a uh, bad condition to get sunburn because what happens when you snow trekking you can get the sun rays from the top but also it reflects from the snow on your face so it's really important for you to wear sunscreen i was wearing this serum sunscreen because i thought i'm going to have to reapply all the time so i need something lightweight and i took a bottle with me so that was the only sunscreen that i bought i had no other reason to uh, buy anything else with me and after th only three days of tracking i came home and my skin was like red for the first two three days and then started peeling off it my my skin had burned off its first layer that's how much my skin got burned if you if you, it's hard to explain because i didn't take any photos i was just too embarrassed i didn't go to work for two days because my nose skin was peeling off it was just it was maroon shade so yeah my skin got burned off so it it gave me like zero protection they do have lab certification on their website but like i don't know how how they acquire it or what are the laws to acquire it but um i, I would maybe use it um on my hand or I, I don't know throw it away i don't know it just does not work it did work for me i got sunburned so there's a proof at least i believe that it doesn't work but there is a lab certification on their website and lots of influencers like it so you tell me your experience have you used this one before if you want it i would i would just you know coming down below if you want it i would just send it to you uh you just need to pay for the shipping i would send it to you for free two full sunscreen but let me warn you they do not work another sunscreen i want to talk about is from again dot in key because i like their vitamin c sunscreen so much they recently launched their watermelon and cooling sunscreen now full disclosure i did get the sunscreen in my instagram pr for real so i didn't purchase this i did get it as uh, i did get it as a gift but i'm talking about this in this video not because uh, they took they asked me to this was given to me for my instagram so the reason i'm talking about this is because this has again same texture as this one i really really like the texture um feeling wise it's not very different i mean they say it's a uh, glowy sunscreen i mean this one is watermelon cooling sunscreen and they're supposedly and the marketing ingredient in this one is hyaluronic acid and this one has vitamin c so with this one you can get like bright skin and with this one you can get like glowy skin but i feel like both have the same effect uh i would feel like if you have option to choose one i would go with this one still because of the ingredient vitamin c and sunscreen together are just a great great option but if you have dry skin and if you already use vitamin c serum separately in your morning skincare then you can go with this one so you can get boost of hyaluronic acid which is going to give you that you know extra hydration and you already have some uh, vitamin c underneath so this is going to work great as well uh, both sunscreen i like it for its texture and again price are same for both of the sunscreen 50 ml for 495 rupees very liquidy runny consistency and just very spreadable it's just it, it feels like a korean skincare product <laughs> so i like this i really like uh, the sunscreens that have been launching i really didn't like the one that they launched launch uh, the niacinamide one with i think it's a green bottle like this 
i didn't like that one that's why i never talked about it on my channel or even on instagram um but yeah uh, with this latest two i feel like both are similar texture wise and i like this one have you used any of their sunscreen dot and kiss sunscreen if you did please comment down below which one is your favorite my favorite is vitamin c1 but this one again if there is a cell between these two get any either of these two both are same i just like it for vitamin c extra boost of it but if you already use vitamin c you don't you shouldn't care about it if there is a discount for either of these two sunscreen i would suggest you get the cheaper option but price range wise this is very affordable this is just it does feel like korean skincare product okay so and this is what i have underneath my makeup on this side it's a bit glowy we like that major difference between these two is this uh it's slightly cooling to your skin that might be just because of watermelon extract and next i want to talk about this another sorry about my hair um pharmacy skincare this is 360 block sunscreen gel they say gel but it's basically like a paraben infused not paraben like silicone infused cream same texture as z block sunscreen but have same texture this one is slightly more expensive than z block sunscreen again works amazingly uh it does have slight white cast that white cast doesn't go away it's going to stay <laughs> applying makeup on top of this it's not an issue but if you do need to apply this sunscreen on top of a cream moisturizer not gel moisturizer or better just keep a moisturizer if you apply it on top of any serum it works great as a hydrator as well because ingredients are very soothing and hydrating so you don't really need a moisturizer especially in summer this is a great sunscreen for summer it has matte finish so if you have oily skin and if you're looking for something matte this is great option this is great for men and women both this was again a sunscreen that was prescribed to me by my dermatologist um when i had like rosy sign inflamed skin and i was like i cannot use sunscreen it burns and they're like no this will not burn this has really good ingredients really high quality ingredients so even if you have like open pimples and like scars that are constantly irritated you can still apply this one and it's, it's not going to clog your pores or anything this is a great product it's quite expensive compared to the other sunscreen in my video but again uh, the ingredients are so good so this is especially for someone if you're going through a bad skin day then use something like this uh, rather than anything commercially ad uh, advertised sunscreen this is really doctor prescribed product so it's not going to cause you any harm you know so not only it's going to help you with the sun protection it's also going to make sure that it doesn't cause any more problem like it won't clog your pores it won't hurt your open scars that you have due to your pimples or whatever it's it's not going to do any of that also has uh, ir protection along with uv and uvb critical wavelength of 376 it is water resistant uh, you can go swimming with it so i was doing a swimming class which i did for only one week i don't know when i'll actually learn swimming i don't know if i learn everything i'll be invincible I have to have flaws right so yeah so during that one week of my swimming classes i used this sunscreen and it is actually water proof they say water resistant but they're just being modest it is actually waterproof uh it doesn't uh you know um move anything it is non-greasy like i showed you very matte coverage very matte feel too it doesn't feel heavy quite lightweight and it is non-oily it is paraben free i don't think it has fragrance yeah it doesn't have fragrance it's, it's prescribed by my dermatologist guys so it's it's really really good sunscreen this both medical store sunscreen if you're going to invest money in any medical store sunscreen in india choose from either of this both are almost similar price range and both do work amazingly i would, I would suggest go for this in the summer but if you're slightly trying to save like 100 bucks then you can go for this one both are exactly the same feeling wise and ingredient wise this is slightly superior so yeah but again if you have sensitive skin anything this is not going to hurt you again good ingredients this is slightly better ingredients so now one of the sunscreen that i want to talk about that is a body sunscreen well it's not a body sunscreen but i use it as such because this is uva uvb this is spf 22 this is from bio organic 
सन गार्ड एलोवेरा जेल सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ जेल सनस्क्रीन it does feel like gel it feels like it has created like a glowy layer but uh now when a cloth touches it if i wear um uh, an outfit that touches it it's going to start peeling off so that's the only issue let me just let it dry and then i'll show you the peel off process otherwise it's very cooling because it's aloe vera gel basically and then there is spf ingredients in it uh, it is very affordable too you can get it for 249 rupees and this is 175 ml of tub i finished entire tub because it does feel very cooling right now it feels very cooling and it's the middle of the day it's like it's 230 it still feels like i i don't keep it in fridge so it's great body sunscreen or sunscreen that you want to use when you're inside of your house and you're not going to sit in the balcony or go outside then just for like a protection from your windows you can use this because this is not enough spf 22 is not enough but if you're not going to go out i think this is great option this is affordable and also very light to weight so if you're oily skin this is water based formula aqua yeah it is water based formula and first ingredient is aloe vera so yeah you can you can see it's very soothing very 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 soothing uh, sunscreen ingredients are physical ingredients there are physical sunscreen ingredients filters in it so it's not chemical based so it's going to give you some sort of like white cast like this and if you touch it or play with it it's going to come off so you might need to reapply it more often than you would need with chemical sunscreen but i feel like if you just check the price comparatively it's a really good option especially if you're going to stay in house uh, but definitely don't wear it outside if you think like i'm only going for one hour and i can just wear this no i mean it's not going to be enough but yeah in house amazing i finished it off by using it on my neck and check uh, chest sorry i need coffee <laughs> but neck and chest because this is my sensitive area every time i start a new ingredient my first reaction would be here or here this is my sensitive area so i need to choose my neck product very carefully and this aloe vera gel is just superior it never 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 um, makes me react also i remember using it as my night cream one time when i was uh going through an inflammation on my neck and i was like i don't have a moisturizer i was traveling and i applied this and i felt immediately like cooling sensation and felt better so i definitely don't use it as a night moisturizer sunscreen but i am telling you that it does have very good cooling sensation to it and it is very lightweight gel like feeling uh the only issue i would feel with this is the packaging because you have to dip your finger in it but who can who can blame it it's like 200 bucks for almost 200 ml so yeah this is a really good purchase i would definitely repurchase it you can buy this on amazon which is a good thing and also this brand indus valley bio organics that's the brand name right yeah indus valley they always have discount like buy more get more kind of buy one get one something free option so i also like their hair mask i have talked about it extensively in this well is hair mask same price range same top amazing result uh, better than uh, expensive products in in namdabad india sorry so yeah this brand really does some good things i actually ordered one of their face washes one time and that was full of chemicals they pretend to be ayurvedic product and then i was like anyway so not everything but this sunscreen is it's good from this brand 